My friend Jessica did a video recently where she showcased some of their favorite pasta salads and I thought this was such a good idea because pasta salad is something that we genuinely love. Okay, this is something that during the spring and the summer we make all the time. So I'm gonna share some of our favorites with you here. This pasta salad is really one of those that is so easy but it's so good. It's also really nice and refreshing, so it doesn't feel heavy. This is one that I've taken to church functions several times because it's been requested. I've had people ask over and over again, so we're gonna make it here. It's super easy to do. The first thing that I'm doing, actually I have um, water heating up over on my stove so that we can cook the pasta because that's really the first step. That's the longest step in this, the significantly the longest step. Also, I do not have a fan blowing in my kitchen, but the window is open right here because it's beautiful outside. Absolutely stunning. So if you see things blowing, that's the reason. Also, don't judge my nails, okay? I'm painting them tonight, but today was one of those days. It wasn't gonna happen today. Okay, so I like to take about a half cucumber, but it depends on the amount of pasta that I'm making. So sometimes I'll make a ton of this, right? A lot, a lot, a lot of it. Um, but I like to cut it first into fours and then we cut slices. So the, the thing about this recipe is it's kind of however much you like, right? So you can use a ton of cucumbers if you really like cucumbers, use a lot of tomatoes if you really like tomatoes, but if you don't, then go less on those. So I would say this is one of those definitely measure with your heart um, because it's, it's really subjective to the, the family that's gonna be eating it. And as we're putting all of this together, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it into a bowl. Just drop it right in here into a bowl. Also, feel free to add whatever type of vegetables you like because I've added green pepper to this before too, and that's very good. I'm actually using that for a different recipe tonight, so I'm not gonna use it for this one. And then I love to add these right here. These are the Wild Wonders. They have the, the different colors in the package, and that's part of the reason I love to add this to this recipe because then you get a lot of different colors in here and I think that's so beautiful. I do like to cut them in half and then into like bite-sized pieces. So we'll just cut those and drop them in. I love the flavor of these. Each, I think each one of the tomatoes has a little bit of a different flavor. This is just one of those like perfect summer dishes. We love a good pasta salad in the summer. But what I want is a pasta salad that's not heavy, right? It's just a refreshing pasta salad. You don't eat it and feel like, ugh, now I feel, you know, it's not, it's not mayonnaise-based, which there's nothing wrong with mayonnaise-based pasta salad, y'all. I love it. But I'm just saying, I feel like this one is your perfect summer, like fresh flavors. We pretty much always have these little tomatoes in our house because my son will grab these like a snack, like chips. He'll just go over and grab several of these and eat a handful at a time. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and prep everything that's gonna go into this pasta salad. Even though the, the pasta isn't done cooking, it's not, even, it's not even on yet, but we'll just get it all done. You can do that. You can just set this to the side and then those tomatoes and those cucumbers are gonna marinate in the dressing and it makes it even better. I have a completely unsponsored infomercial for you guys. If you have not tried these blood orange San Pellegrinos, oh gosh, when was it? Oh, I went to a new salad place in town and I love San Pellegrino. I like, that's, that's my drink of choice is just a sparkling water. That's my preference. But I went into a salad place for lunch one day by myself and they had these and I was like, mm, San Pellegrino, blood orange. All right, I'll give it a shot. I mean, I love that thing so much. And then my husband and I actually went out to dinner the next night and I was like, we need to find a place that has this because it's so good. And obviously then I found them at the grocery store and now we buy them as a treat, which I don't buy them all the time, but just sometimes because they're so good. Now, feel free to use whatever kind of dressing you love, but I will say that this right here, you can buy it in a two pack at Sam's Club and it's a huge amount. You can buy it in any grocery store too, but we buy it at Sam's because um, this is what I make pasta salad. When I make pasta salad for our church, obviously I need a lot of it. I am going to add about a half a cup to this right here, maybe a little more. Um, and I might add a little bit more too once we put the pasta in there, but I like these to marinate. I do think it's delicious if they marinate in that a little bit. Feel free to use whatever kind of dressing you love. It doesn't have to be this one, okay? All right, so we're just gonna mix that together. Let that just marinate for a minute. Now, the sodium content in this one is 540 milligrams, okay? So it's not 
a small amount of sodium. However, I do like to add just a touch of salt because I feel like it really brings out the flavor of the tomatoes and cucumber. Now this ingredient, you can make it without this, but you can't make it without this, okay? You gotta add dill. I'm telling you, it's going to enhance the flavor so much. I add at least two teaspoons. That might be a lot. If you're not a dill fan, cut that back or just cut it out. But I'm telling you, it's so good. And I'll probably add a little bit more once I put the pasta in here too, because we, we do really like dill. Now, I'm not gonna add it in quite yet just because I want these tomatoes and cucumber to get a good marinade on them. And I, this all right, I could eat just this. I mean, just this alone is completely fine. But we do like to add freshly shredded Parmesan cheese. It doesn't have to be freshly shredded. Just buy bagged Parmesan cheese if you want. But we do like to add Parmesan cheese. It is such a good flavor in this one. So I'm just gonna set all of this to the side. We're gonna get that pasta cooking and then we can move on. Our noodles are done. We're going to drain off the excess water. Now, I only made a half box of noodles. That's just all that our family needed. So feel like you can make more than that, absolutely. But then what I like to do is just run some cold water over these because I really want them to stop cooking. You know, I don't want that process to continue. Look how pretty they look in the sunlight. So nice. So we add those in, that can get washed. Let's just toss. And then this can go in the refrigerator and it's gonna be ready to serve when we're ready for dinner. Y'all, I'm telling you this, it's just so good. It's so good. Add as many vegetables as you want. Add as much dill as you want. Add other kinds of, oh man. Add other kinds of dressing if you want. I mean, there's so many ways to mix this up, but I do think this one is so good, especially if you just happen to have this in your fridge, which I feel like a lot of people do. It's a common dressing to, dressing to buy. Let me just try it right here, just so I can see if it needs anything else. I could happily just eat this for dinner. It, it is so fresh and so good. And I also cannot wait until our garden is producing tomatoes and cucumbers because we will be all over this all summer long. I forgot to put the cheese on the pasta. All right, we're just gonna put some on the ones that I've already served. It's an essential piece, guys. It's really good even without it, obviously, because I tasted it, but it's so good if you just add that little bit of cheese too. We are going to make a BLT pasta salad. I feel like this is one of those things that makes a great summer side, but it also could just be a great lunch option. If you're taking lunch to work, maybe you don't have an opportunity to heat things up, this is a great thing to take with you. I have a pot back here on the stove. I'm boiling some water and we are gonna take about two and a half cups of this bow tie pasta and go ahead and cook that up in the salted water. I have one tomato here that I'm going to dice. This recipe actually calls for romaine lettuce, but I needed arugula for a different recipe. So we're gonna replace the romaine with arugula and I'm just gonna rough chop this. The recipe calls for four slices of bacon chopped. I'm actually gonna go with five or six because I'm under the general impression that you can really never have too much bacon. I drained our pasta and then ran some cold water over it. Now we're gonna dump the pasta into this bowl and mix everything together. Now that we've got it all mixed, I'm gonna add in this ranch dressing. The recipe calls for half cup. So I'm gonna start with roughly a half cup and then if we feel like we need to add more, we will. We're also adding in a tablespoon of barbecue sauce. All 
All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Like I said, we love so many pasta salads, but this one in particular is one that every single time I take it somewhere or I really have a craving for pasta salad, it's this one. You've got the ranch and the bacon, so you've got those two really rich flavors, but then you add in the arugula, which is almost like a lemony kind of herb. I can't really explain it, but it does have a distinct flavor, and to me that adds this like element of freshness along with the tomatoes. So it's not super heavy, but it's also filling enough that it's such a good pasta salad. You could toss in some grilled chicken into this and make a complete meal out of it, but it is definitely a favorite in our household and we have made it so many times. Hey, good morning, everybody. We are in the bird household and it is Mother's Day. So we're gonna start our day at church this morning and then after church, we're gonna have paninis and a pasta salad. I'm gonna make the pasta salad now so it's ready when we get home from church. And hopefully we'll, we'll enjoy it and you'll enjoy it in your family. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. So. so. Dad, I'm hot, it's six. I know, I know. Oh. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is get our shells started while we work on all the chopping and dicing and slicing of all the vegetables that are gonna go in this pasta salad. So we're going with medium shells for this pasta salad. Water is boiling, so we'll add our medium shells. And give it a stir. I searched all of the interwebs to find a pasta salad we haven't heard before or that I haven't had before or that Amber hasn't had before. Here are some things, uh, some of the ingredients that are in the pasta salad. We have uh, radishes, jicama or jicama root, which is kind of bizarre. We'll see what that tastes like. Uh, fresh dill, chives, and bell peppers. First thing we'll start with is our jicama, uh, and we're going to peel it and dice it. Okay, so we have our jicama root uh, peeled, and let's start dicing. My daughter just made the observation that this is very small dices, and I'll be honest, I'm not sure I know the difference between dicing and chopping. Let's see what it tastes like raw. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it like that or not. It's got the consistency of a potato. My daughter was not too keen on it. Yeah. The prep on this recipe says 10 to 20 minutes, but you can double that if uh, you're not familiar with the kitchen. Okay, next up is our bell peppers. Uh, we're going to chop those and add those into a medium bowl that the pasta will be added to soon. Okay, once again, these are to be chopped, which is just gonna be my best guess of what chopping means. Is this chopped, honey? That's honest. Yeah, and then they cut it into squares. Okay, but also you're dice smaller, chop bigger. But also you're going like so carefully. It's well, I have, I have cut myself already once. So I have to go a little more careful. Now we're done with our bell peppers. We'll add those over here to our jicama root. All right, our next ingredient are radishes, uh, which I particularly like. It, I don't, you don't find them in much except for salads, but I do like radis, radishes. So these are supposed to be diced. Radishes is kind of a funny name as I'm cutting them right now because it sounds a little bit, I know this might be gross for our food, but it sounds a little bit like rat. And tell me that doesn't look like a rat tail. I'm excited to see this very colorful pasta salad. Yeah, I do, I did like the color on it. Yeah. <laughs> Radishes, done. A hey, couple more things. The first one is we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna chop the chives and then end on the dill and then we'll be ready to start making our pasta. You guys, my kids call it onion grass. Done with our chives. Final thing, chopped dill. I do know that Amber loves dill. 
Ooh, you slice and do that and you can smell it. That's yummy. Okay, all the vegetables are sliced, diced, chopped, or something else. Uh, so now let's start compiling our pasta salad. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna have two different bowls, one large, one medium. And in the large bowl, we're gonna combine the pasta with the bell peppers, the jicama, and the radishes. All right, now we're gonna combine the noodles to the large bowl. The noodles, remember, were supposed to be cool and patted dry. I did not pat them dry, though I tried to let them dry for a bit. All right, so let me stir that around just a bit. Combine those vegetables with the pasta. And I might actually have to upgrade to our largest bowl if I'm going to, so things don't fill over on the, sp the side. Bowl transfer coming up. Our next task is to whisk together our wet ingredients into a medium bowl, which consists of mayonnaise, buttermilk, sour cream, a little bit of hot sauce, uh, white wine vinegar, and garlic powder. We'll start with adding uh, our base, one cup of mayonnaise. Uh, we use Duke's mayonnaise here in the Carolinas. I don't know if that's just a Carolinas thing or if it's from Carolina. All right, to the one cup of mayonnaise, we'll add one cup of sour cream. You know, in our family, we do uh, substitute Greek yogurt often. Uh, today, we are doing sour cream. And to the one cup of mayonnaise and one cup of sour cream, we'll add our liquid ingredients, the first of which is a half a cup of buttermilk. To that, we'll add two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. And lastly, we'll add half a tablespoon of garlic powder and a little bit of your favorite hot sauce. For ours, it's uh, Cholula. That is a lot, not a little bit. My kids are saying that that is a lot, not a little bit, which is true. I am a fan of Cholula. There was a time in my life where I was putting it on everything and then I realized I was getting older and I just couldn't do it. My body couldn't handle it. Okay, so our liquid ingredients are uh, in the medium bowl and now it's time to whisk together. All right, we're almost across the finish line. We have uh, two more things, two more steps left. One is to add our dill and chives to the wet ingredients and stir in. Very fragrant, man. Smells yummy, doesn't it, guys? Yeah, yeah. It looks, it looks a little bit like tzatziki. Yeah. Are you making tzatziki? All right, here we are. We've arrived at our final step of combining our wet or liquid and uh, dry ingredients. I'm going to take a spoon and try to just stir it around and see if that combines well, but I might put the lid on this and shake it around uh, to do that as well. Yeah, I think that's what I, that's the term. My daughter just said I could try folding and that's actually what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. exactly. Oh, this is actually combining really well. The other reason I did want to make this before we leave for church this morning is because I think it'll be uh, taste better chilled. We'll uh, put it in the, the fridge while we're at church and then in a few hours come back and have that for lunch along with the panini. So the paninis today for Mother's Day are going to be Reuben. Can't remember the name, but it's the basil mozzarella tomato and then a turkey and Havarti on that basil tomato and mozzarella. I also picked up some prosciutto uh, if anybody wants to put that on. So it should be good. Okay, looks like our ingredients are combined. So we'll put this in a little bowl and give it a taste test and see what we think. All right, here's the final product. We'll give it a taste. Let me see if I can get this close to the camera shot so you can see what it looks like. Hunting for the radishes. Oh yeah, radishes, jicama, and bell peppers, all in that spite. It's a nice, fragrant, late spring or early summer pasta salad. It tastes fresh. Even though it has that mayonnaise and that sour cream that could be heavy, it doesn't taste heavy. So it's good. Hopefully we enjoy, we'll enjoy for our Mother's Day lunch this afternoon. And um, I'm sure Amber will share her thoughts with you. Once again, I want to say thank you for watching this. 
and I'm thankful to Amber for letting me take over this video for just a moment. I know you won't be watching this on Mother's Day, but since this is being filmed on Mother's Day, I wanted to take a moment and say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms that are watching this right now. Uh, you are so valuable to your families. Uh, in fact, you are so much more valuable to your families and bring value to your families much more than you give yourself credit for. For my own wife, I am forever thankful for the sacrifices that she's made and the commitment that she's made uh, to her family and to me. So honey, I wanted to say happy Mother's Day to you and I love you and I'm thankful for everything you do for me and for our family. We ate on this pasta salad for a good four days and Never once did I think I probably should take a bite and share my experience. I love root vegetables and I love peppers. So this pasta salad was right up my alley, okay? I love the jicama, love the radishes. I absolutely love peppers. I mean, it was just perfect for me. The only thing that I would say is it needs a touch of salt. So that afternoon when we ended up eating it with the paninis, I did mix in a little bit of salt. I don't think the recipe called for it, but it, it just enhanced all of those flavors, but it was very good and it could serve so many people. Our verse today comes from Revelation 21, four. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning nor crying nor pain anymore for the former things have passed away. I hope you guys enjoyed these pasta salads. These are definitely some of our favorites and two of them we have made over and over again. If you need more inspiration, check out the video that I have listed above. I hope you have a great week.